Hello and welcome to part four of our PHP email application project. I'm Jeff LaBeouf and in this video we're going to create the script for the remove form. In our last video we reviewed the PHP script for our signup form. So when somebody um, filled out our signup.html form and clicked submit, the information was passed to the script that I have here on screen. I've also opened up our remove email HTML form below and I'm going to use my uh, my signup.php as a template to create my remove email uh, my remove.php so my remove form is much simpler than the signup form it only has one uh, input field that's going to pass information so there's an input text area, or an input text, and an input uh, submit button. So the first thing I need to know is what the name of this form field is. So I can see the action is remove.php. And the input tag that I'm using is called email. And that's all I really need to know about this file at this point, so I'm going to close it. Go. Okay. So before I make any mistakes or I change something in my signup.php and and then uh, accidentally save it, I'm going to save as and call this remove.php. Now I've previously written that file, but I'm just going to save over it with this one. Yes, it already exists. It's fine. And now I'm going to modify this code to um, make it work with my uh, for my remove dot form, my remove dot HTML form. So I don't need my first name and last name variables because that information is not something that the user would place into my form. I only need this email variable. So I initialize my variable, my variable by defining its name, and then using the post superglobal uh, variable, uh, and then here this email corresponds to the name inside my input field. Okay. Next we have a little uh, confirmation message here, and this doesn't really do a whole lot except give us some some uh, information uh, that we you know, uh, we can confirm what we actually typed in. So when we go to remove.html and we type an email address and we press send, um, not only do we get the result, whether or not it was successful or not, but we will also get um, a, uh, a copy of what we had put in the field. Next we have our include function. So we include the connect.php script and that contains the uh, information to connect to our open the connection to our database. Then we have our query. So the query contains the SQL statement or the the T squeal. So we're not inserting anything into the database anymore. We're going to uh, remove or delete a customer record. So instead of insert, we're going to say delete from mailing list. We're going to use the keyword where and where email equals email. So what this query does is it um, it deletes the record a record from mailing list, and of course we have to specify exactly which record we wanted to delete. By record I mean the entire row. So the WHERE clause is where we can define exactly what record we want to delete. So the column is email and the value is our whatever the value is contained in our email variable. So 
essentially this query will search the database for whatever email was passed through the form and once it's found it will delete it. Incidentally if you have multiple records with that same email for some reason it should delete all of them. Okay now we compose our we use our, our query function to actually um, pass that that T squeal to the database. So we're going to store that in result and it's MySQLI query and we're going to use the same DBC variable and that is actually in our connection or our connect script and then our query which is right up here we didn't have to change that name or die there's our error and we catch any SQL errors that are received and then we simply print out a small response so you have been successfully added to the mailing list is not what we wanted to say. We want to say you have successfully removed email. There we go. So you have successfully removed and then whatever the variable is will print else. Uh, so if this does not, um, if, if this is null for some reason, uh, it'll echo sorry an error has, occur has occurred and you should not see that error. Typically the error is going to happen at the connection or at the query and you're going to get an SQL error and that would occur before the result is even um, evaluated. And then finally we close our connection. So that was pretty simple. It's a little bit shorter but we used everything that we had learned in our last video in the signup.php to create our remove.php and the only real significant change was to our query, our t squeal. Let's save this and test it, make sure that our site's working properly. So I'm going to go to the remove.html and we'll test this in Internet Explorer. And actually, let's go to uh, sign up first and we'll create a record and then we'll delete that one. So. Parker, oops, and this email is spider dash man at marvel.com. And I'm just going to copy this, submit. It says they've been successfully added to our mailing list. Let's just confirm that by going through localhost php my admin and I'm going to check my email app database in the mailing list record uh, table and I see I have myself Iron Man, Bruce Banner and Peter Parker so Peter Parker is ID4 well, let's remove Peter from our mailing list let's click remove an email and we'll paste Spider-Man at Marvel.com in there and press remove. Spider-Man at Marvel.com so we see what we had typed in. We get confirmation. You have successfully removed Spider-Man at Marvel.com. Let's confirm that in our PHP my admin. Refresh my mailing list page and I can see that that record, record number four, is gone. The entire record has disappeared, which is exactly what we wanted. So that concludes our video on creating the remove.php script. In the next video, we will create our final PHP script for the uh, email, the compose.php, where we actually um, 
use our compose form to write the email message and mail it out to our the members of our mailing list. So thanks for watching.